Hey, so uh, there's a new feature called vertex creasing in Blender 3.1 beta. So if you control 2, 3, 4, 5, shade smooth to add uh, subdivisions, uh, five levels of subdivisions. Um, and if I go into edit mode, there's an edge, um, edge crease option here, which is for shift E. Um, there isn't a vertex crease vertex crease um, shortcut yet. Um, I've raised a bug for this so I mean I mean, I don't know, it would be great if we could have some sort of a shortcut for it but that's just the way it is. Um, links in the description if anyone wants to add or comment on that on that bug report. Uh, if it's not it's not really not really a bug, it's more of a feature I suppose, a feature request, but I don't know, we'll see what they what they say. Um, so the edge creasing feature, if you do Shift E, this has been around since 2.8 and, and probably for, for years before that, I imagine. You can grab multiple edges, crease them in. Really cool for loads of different um, effects and um, modeling techniques. So the latest version that's just been added, and again, the link to this is also in the description, um, is vertex creasing. So if you hit N, you can now crease vertexes. You can crease them in individually or you can um, crease both of them at the same time and if they're if they're linked um, together uh, with a with a, um, an edge in between them you also get this option for mean crease which is pretty neat. So if you fully crease the both the vertices you can then average the distance between them to create more more unusual, not more unusual, more useful effects on in the, in the modeling. It's pretty useful, neat, neat feature. So if you go and apply the so, uh, subdiv surface, then you end up with quite nice topology. It's pretty decent. And you can see where your, your edges have been creased as well. Neat. That's it. Cheers.